Hi, I'm Elgo Valoverta and this video is about Victory's The Kraken Pedal Preamp. Yes, indeed, uh, the Kraken preamp pedal. The song uh, you just heard uh, is the same song I used when I did the video about the Kraken amplifier. And I thought that uh, it's cool that I use the same song. So then you can easily compare if there is a difference or if there isn't. Uh, put the link to the video there so you can Check that out if you will, and in the description below. So, what is the Kraken preamp? Well, it's exactly what it says. It's really a preamp. It's just in a pedal format. So it's not like preamp-like pedal or anything. It's really a preamp, tube-driven preamp. There's four preamp tubes in it. There's an effect loop, so you can use the four cable method like I'm using now. You can connect directly this to interface if you want, or into an amplifier's front end. That would make, in that case, you would have two preamps going on at the same time. Or then you can connect this to an amplifier using the four cable method like I have now. I'll do another video about the four cable method. Uh, if I've already done it, when you watch this, it, the link will be there. And if I haven't, you know. So, uh, but yeah. So the the in short, the four cable method is is a method that uh, allows you to use two preamps, two separate amplifiers preamps. Uh, into one amplifier's power amp. So in this case, the Duchess. This is all. This is an amplifier. It's a pre-amplifier and a power amplifier. Tube-driven preamp, solid-state power amp. So this is like the base of my tone. So when the, the Kraken is bypassed, I'm using the preamp of this, which is a really clean, good pedal platform preamp. Sounds like. And when the, I engage the Kraken, then it bypasses this preamp and the Kraken preamp goes directly into the amplifiers, the Duchess's power amp. So that's 
for cable method in, in, in short. So you're not, because whenever you put two different preamps in, in series, it's, it can be a little bit hard to get a good sound or then it's usually a compromise. But if you put a preamp into directly into power amp, then the sound of that preamp comes better, you know, audible. And the 4K method allows you to use two preamps into one power amp. Okay, well, the song, the sounds I used, uh, the left guitar and the lead guitar was the gain 2, uh, the settings here, there, and uh, well, it's, it sounds like this. So the delay is in the loop also. So, I mean, it's, it's awesome. I mean, Rubia Mazad, Mazad who, because uh, he, he was involved in designing this, it's, this is exactly the tones I like, you know, British flavor, not muddy or muffled or anything. The low end is tight. It's really cool. And what's cool about this is this has a bright switch. So in zero position, it's neutral. Uh, where, when would you need to use this? Because, uh, you know, if you hook this to an amplifier, different amplifiers have uh, different sounds, different effect loops, different power amps. Some, sometimes, if this pedal sounds really harsh, you might want to use uh, tame a little bit in, uh, about the high end of the high end. But in this case, uh, it becomes too muddy and even muddier but let's say if your amp is really bright or then if you're going if your amp doesn't have an effect loop if you're going uh, to the input of the amp so you have two preamps on top then you might need to use these but this is really handy so you, you can basically have your settings how you dial this and then just use this for, to, for it to suit different amplifiers, but in this case it suits in the, in the neutral uh, position because the Duchess, I've done a video of that also, I think there, is really a good pedal platform and, and I, have it, I have it set like basically neutral, everything is kind of in the, in the middle, which sounds also good on its own. Okay, yeah, so the Gain 2 channel is, is uh, you know, as you heard, it's kind of modern high gain channel, but not that fluffy, low and whatever some amps has. It's really cool, kind of modern vintage flavor. I really love it. Uh, the only difference uh, of the, the Kraken amp is that this doesn't have a two master volumes for each channel. So the amp has so you can have a solo boost, but I, you know, you can easily add a booster here. So it's just like one volume per channel. Okay, then let's switch to gain channel one, which is more traditional. <laughs> Thank you. 
really nice British flavor tone. I love it. And I used this channel on the right side of the song, but I boosted it with a super overdrive to get it to a little bit more saturation. So. <laughs> Like that. So, really good preamp, you know, although it's in the pedal format, but it's, it's really a real tube driven preamp, which just happens to be in the pedal format. And you can have this on your pedal board or wherever you want to have it. Uh, the, the signal chain in this video is uh, my signature ESP with EMG8185 pickups. Then it goes to from here to the input or the Kraken and then by using the four cable method I'm gonna go through that detailedly but basically this is in the effect loop of this and blah blah blah. And then the signal continues while it's gone through the delay and all here. It continues from the output, line output, because you can uh, use there's a line output and a cabinet output. So, but since this is a solid state amp, you don't have to have a load, aka cabinet or uh, load box connected. You can connect to the balanced line out. So this cable goes to the Focusrite audio interface and then to Logic. And uh, impulse response I have chosen, like on many other videos of mine, it's a Jens Bugrens. I R called Greasy Beard. Fantastic IRs, by the way. You should check them out if you're interested into that. Ready for mix, dense, powerful tone, cabinet sound IR. Okay, hey. Conclusion. Like I said on the amp, if you're into that British flavor, crunch, distortion, not fluffy or muddy or, you know, whatever. Really nice singing mix. You should definitely check this out. I mean, I'm really, really impressed. Uh, yeah, hopefully this was informative and helpful and so on. If you liked, thumbs up, you know what to do. Until next time, take care, bye.